Stay tuned. I'm going to show you how we pack, pack all this camping gear into the back of my truck in an organized and practical way. And believe me, it all fits back here. And I got a special way to do it. Stay around and you'll find out. Okay, my truck. I have a sliding bed. This makes all the difference in the world, let me tell you. We do have a couple unique things that I've done. Number one, I've taken the spare tire off my RV so I can put a back, hump, back bumper hitch so I can carry my bikes. So I put the tire in here. Um, here is just some extra uh, clothes if I'm working on the truck. I have them uh, set of overalls, some boots, and uh, some uh, a little bit of uh, cold, colder weather gear, not cold weather gear. All right, the way I organize all this stuff is I put all this into a bin. I put in my um, elastic cords, bungee cords, some extra um, paracord, miscellaneous stuff for hitches, extra tent poles just in case, or tent stakes, some little uh, painter sticks just for sh shimming or something needs adjusted. I've got my two outlet power core, or a couple of them. This goes from a 50 amp, 30 amp, and this is my generator one. I have running my generator. I have an extra power, just a cheap power cord. These are all backups. This is why I don't put them in the extra angle iron, just an angle for my uh, uh, guard water hose. A little bit of Velcro, you never know when it won't come in handy. This, this raises and up and down my stable my stabilizers. I just I have an extra one, put it in, in here. This is stuff for my generator, all the accessories that come with it. And I just keep, I keep them in a bag. Then I keep some, some stuff for plumbing. I keep some packs. Here's a little short piece. I keep some more in the, in the uh, bed of my truck. I'll show you that in a little bit. I keep, uh, I really don't keep too much. I got a coupler. A T, an angle, a bunch of stops, and then the rings to secure them. I got the putter. I got the cut. I was about golfing. I got the knife to cut it, and then I got the crimper tool. So this is all goes into bin number one. And the reason it goes into bin number one is I load it first. All this stuff I haven't had to use yet, but I have it just in case. So I stack it in here. The one thing I, I do go, I, I go a little bit by weight. I know I could get more, more stuff in here, but I want to be able to pick it up and move it around. I want my wife to be able to pick it up and move it around. So that's the reason we do this. Very useful piece of tools here. I take both of the one. in first. Then if I need to get it, the other ability to reach back here. And pull it out. It works well. Now we'll get all the rest of the bins. Okay, this is tote number two. We put it in second. Got a couple quarter inch drives. One uh, metric, one SAE. I got a little bit of electrical wire. A little bit of electrical tape, washers for the garden hose or the, for the water. I got a little axe, never used it yet, but I got it. I do have a little pry bar just in case something comes up. I got some 11 inch cable ties. Um, you'd be amazed what you can use those for. I got a little heat gun with some heat shrink in case I got an electrical connection that's being stubborn. I have my, I have uh, other uh, connections to hook up wiring that they are solderless. And they, you heat them up with the heat gun, and then the plastic melts all around them. Uh, they're called solder and seal connections. 
they're worthwhile. I got these Wago um, electrical connectors as a just in case. I keep a bunch of fuses for my 12 volt system on my RV. I keep a set of Milwaukee bits in here for my impact drill. I have a um, the industrial endoscope. Uh, it hooks up to my phone. You hook it up and then um, it transmits the picture to your phone so you can sneak down in cracks and behind walls and see what's going on. I keep that in here. I, actually, I have two of these. I have one for my normal shop and one in my RV. And the only reason I have two is because uh, I didn't want to get stuck somewhere and forget where it was. Um, Vone meter, just a nice little case. Some tape, flexible tape for roof, in case we get a tear or damage. A little bit of emery cloth for roughing up something. I got ground neutral bonding plug. Let's call this a bonding plug. I need it. I don't need it because I've checked my, my generator out, but if I so anyway, that's tote number two. It goes in second. Tote number two. Okay, so in tote number three, I have bicycle gear, helmets, charger, locks. So that's number three. You generally get set up with camp before you get the bikes out. And then number four, you can see number four, this is a... Um, a backpacking cooler and uh, you'll be surprised how much you've ended up using this it's so much more if we go uh to the swim beach or if we go on a if we go on a picnic uh we'll put the cool stuff in here it doesn't take very much it blows up and it, it's really awesome and uh so that's three and four okay number five we've got a warming plate that sits on the blackstone you can do, put biscuits up there cook them slowly or you can keep anything warm up here if it's for the stove I got the uh, Blackstone cover to keep the stuff warm. And I have a my Dutch oven. So we packed that in bin number five. You can see number five. And this one's this one's pretty heavy, so it's gotta go on it's gotta go on the floor. It's gotta go on the bottom. It can't, you can't, it can't be stacked on top of anything. Alright, so I got my my bins labeled one, two, and three, put in first. One goes in first, two goes on top, then three. Then I put in the next. Then I put in four. And five. I got an inventory list of what's in each bin. So that when I get ready to, I can, if I know that I'm going to need bicycle stuff, I know it's in bin three. If I know I need my uh, backpack that's a cooler, my cooler backpack, I can pull out four. So uh, anyway, now we'll finish loading the rest of the truck. All right, quick update. Got my... The table down here that my black stone sits on when we're camping. Got my black stone sitting up here, and I have my outdoor rug sitting here. That way, when I get where I'm going, I can pull these off and get the rug set up, the outdoor rug set up, and then I can set up my black stone so we can start cooking. I love to eat outdoors. Cook outdoors and eat outdoors. Okay, got the solo stove back here. We got the um, cold weather gear here. Got an extra propane tank because it's the winter time. We got a fuel. To, I got extra fuel just in case. And then this here is a five-gallon bucket I carry, and uh, I just have some miscellaneous things in it. Nothing of real importance. And it goes right there. We got some foam. Some black foam. I got a couple spots that need fixed, so I'm gonna work on that next time I go out. Oh, I got the fan back there, the box fan. So here, here's the uh, dog ramps. The dog is getting the truck. Keep it here. 
it's got to go it's got to come out pretty soon because the dog won't wait too long to get out of the truck my water container if i need one and here's my trash uh class of trash can and then next goes goes our screen house when it's when there's bugs out we put this up on the picnic table and we, and that just about gets i got a few other little odds and ends let me get them in there and show you i got a shovel put back here i got a couple of pie irons for cooking over a, a fire stay in here we get kind of dirty and then my um leveling blocks to keep him here on the back end because they're the kind of the last thing when I when I get ready to do the trailer I'll, I'll start them back here and that's pretty well nope about one thing okay my walking sticks that I used to carry in the back of the trunk we're now going to put underneath the bed to the trailer so oh one other thing hang on get about my step stool or a bench whatever you want to call it this has been a lifesaver as I'm a, I'm a real tall guy at five foot six so I, I can reach a lot of stuff but this allows me to reach a lot of other stuff so anyway this always goes in last this is the very first thing I take out I store all my gear, my camping gear, that goes in my truck in these three shelves. One, two, three. I do this so I'll know where everything is. It's not scattered throughout the garage. It's all in the same place. It's safe. It doesn't get banged around driving in the back of my truck when it's not in use.